What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new news video. Today what I have for you guys is Call of Duty's new official blog post. We're going to be covering all the details that you need to know about it. I do plan on making a second video going up later today going over the new Modern Warfare 2 update, everything you need to know about Reloaded and a little bit more information. So this video is going to be focusing just on this blog post which has to do with the Modern Warfare 3 campaign. So let's get right into it. So they said there's a brand new campaign with a new innovation which is going to be open combat missions, which just to summarize it, it's basically like open world. So you're going to be dropped into some sort of a place and you're going to have the opportunity to play it in whatever way that you want and be able to complete the task. So rather than like the straight and narrow path that we had with older campaign missions where you have to follow a set direction, go down a particular route and do that this time around it's completely different they're giving you a lot more creative freedom when it comes to how you want to complete the mission and in my opinion i think that is actually a really good thing but here's what they said in the continued pursuit of innovation through call of duty modern warfare 3's campaign introduces a new element open combat missions a departure from traditional campaign levels these missions redefine player agency offering an unparalleled degree of freedom and adaptability tailored to individual playstyles. It empowers players, giving the flexibility to accommodate a spectrum of choices, enabling a player to forge their own path throughout these missions. So here's just a couple of things that they ended up saying. So there's fixed objectives. Open combat missions still have fixed objectives, but how you complete them is up to you. I mentioned here the return of Gora Dam is now back. So this is from Verdance basically, and now it's flowing water rather than being frozen. But it says the Intel drop video showcases several campaign open combat missions including one base at Verdansk Gora Dam. Unlike the Gora Dam that players remember from 2019, the Gora's River's water run deep in 2023. From atop of the dam, Simon Ghost Riley, who players control as part of this mission, must defuse several bomb sites in the vicinity of the dam, one of which is on a moving truck. How Ghost completes this mission is in your hands. Ghost is armed with a fully kitted out AR for weapons, free engagement, but also a silent sidearm, a pair of binoculars, a lethal, a tactical grenade, as well as additional equipment that may contain even more options for completing the mission. This is just Ghost infill ordinance. You have a wide variety of weaponry and other weapons that you can use, but here's what they say. There's 10 examples that they give of combat missions. So I'm assuming it's not just gonna be one or two missions you're gonna be able to do this in, but it's gonna be the majority of the campaign. But it says, in short, OB combat missions are not linear. They can be approached from numerous angles, including altering strategies at any point during the mission. So here's just a couple examples. There's stealth, just like in Operation 627, which is the one that we ended up seeing the other day. Remaining off the radar in combat missions is often a viable strategy. In most cases, enemies are aware of your presence. If you draw attention to yourself, such as firing an unsuppressed weapon or walking right up to them, they can either become suspicious or enter an alert state. This sort of reminds me like Spider-Man games and those superhero games where like you're Spider-Man, you can sneak up on them and get them while they're not noticing you or you could just jump down there and fight them and everyone will start running at you, right? It's just pretty much the same thing. The other one is Guns of Blazing where it's full on all, all out assaults are common in Call of Duty history and you can pull them off in combat missions too. That one is pretty obvious and standard, something that a lot of people are probably gonna do. And then there's the other one, it says using your loadout. So not only do you typically have a primary and secondary, but you have another part of your loadout and this is new to campaign is just like in Warzone, you can stow away loadout items like field upgrade, self revive kits and equipment pieces for later use. And that's like a brand new feature we've never seen in campaign before. Another thing is picking enemy ordinances up. So this is something that I, we were able to do, which is use another enemy's weapon. So if they drop an AK or something like that, and you'd prefer that to the weapon that you have, you can pick it up and use that. Then there's also scavenging for more. So this is new. It's possible to find loose loadout items items, item boxes, and even the ability to swap to another loadout mid-mission via special loadout crates. Some of these resources will be in obvious locations. Others especially can lead to some interesting strategies are a bit harder to uncover. However, your efforts will be rewarded with additional versatility for completing the objective. Another one is on foot. Most Call of Duty campaigns involve boots on the ground combat. So if you rather go the traditional route in, co in open combat missions, very little stopping you from doing that. There's also parachuting, parkour, and more. Whether it's jumping off the Gora Dam or mantling onto balconies, open missions offer plenty of verticality and unconventional movement options. Then there's the other option where you can be in water. So if there's a body of water in the open combat mission, you're free to dive in it. This could be a vital component for the overall stealth strategy or perhaps an alternate path to an objective. Then there's also the use of vehicles. So they do have a bunch of vehicles and they said you can C4 rig ATVs such as we saw in that clip yesterday and then send that over to like a helicopter or something and then blow it up. There's also the ability to use kill streaks and interactable items. So it could be as simple as throwing flammable gas canister 
or as complex as calling in from an air to ground missile. They're giving you a whole lot of options here rather than just shooting a weapon. But another thing it says, remember during open combat missions, you can change your approach at any moment. Just keep in mind what many multiplayer veterans will tell you is key to mission success, play to finish objectives. So you can't just run around aimlessly. You have to still complete your mission. That pretty much covers everything you need to know about combat missions. Now we talk about COD Next, which is going to be the return of it. We had it for the first time last year. They're going to be doing it again this time around on October 5th, 2023, where you can watch it on Call of Duty's Twitch channel or YouTube channel. And basically it's going to be one day before the open open beta starts they did mention here that they're going to be showcasing the multiplayer they're going to be showcasing warzone as well as they're going to talk about updates and call of duty warzone mobile and then the beta open dates which i've talked about in the video yesterday but i'll just go ahead and show a photo of these are the dates that we have so the following day if you have playstation early access you'll be able to start playing the beta right away but it says no carry forward content will not be available in modern warfare 3's multiplayer beta so don't expect to be able to use that you will be able to use the stuff that you got from the vault edition though so if you ended up getting that Makarov skin and all that from it, you'll be able to use that stuff. You just won't be able to use all the stuff that you purchase in MW2, such as like, say, the Izzy, for example. But both multiplayer weekends will feature early access days. They do mention here that you do not need PlayStation Plus for those of you guys on PlayStation in order to be able to play it. And then ended up providing the times and the exact dates. So on Monday, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time is when you're going to be able to play it. And then up to Tuesday, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And then it closes and then it starts the next day for the open beta so that's how they're pretty much going to be doing it this time around same as they always have but what are your thoughts and opinions on this new campaign feature do you think the campaign is going to be a little bit funner this time around we do have early one week access of campaign if you pre-order for an entire week you'll be able to play that campaign before multiplayer and warzone goes live overall with this new open combat feature what do you guys think about this do you think that it'll make campaigns a little bit more playable do you think you'll be able to pretty much repeat the campaign and play it multiple times without really getting bored of it or do you think it's still going to be like the same old campaign missions and it's not going to feel any much different than what we usually were used to or what we got but anyways that's all that i got for you guys in today's video i do plan on making another video later today going up and talking about modern warfare 2's update and everything you need to know in regards to that this is obviously just a Modern Warfare 3 video, but it could potentially give us a blog post as well for the Season 5 Reloaded update. We were supposed to get it today, but instead they gave us this blog post. So chances are, if it's not going to be releasing today, I'm going to guess that it could be delayed all the way up until next week, up until Monday. Sort of like what they did with Season 4 Reloaded, but I'll talk about that in the next video. But anyways, that's all that I got for you guys in this one. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you found the video informative or helpful, consider hitting that subscribe button so you always stay up to date on the latest Call of Duty news and updates. But anyways, it's been your boy Chito. Hopefully I'll be seeing you guys back on the channel again. Peace.